Hello guys and welcome back for the last time today. This is my third season preview that I'm doing today. So the last thing that we are going to cover today are New York Rangers. A very very interesting young team with a lot of young offensive super talent. Of course Capo Caco, the Finnish guy on the second line probably and Alexis Lafreniere right over there. Of course one of the two of the brightest stars of the recent drafts. Caco drafted from the second position, Lafreniere drafted from the first. So just a great young offensive talent in the New York Rangers alongside Mika Zibanejad who had just a brilliant year last season and also Artemi Panarin with an excellent year, first year in New York Rangers, pretty good for Artemi Panarin as well. So I think New York Rangers definitely one of the most exciting teams to watch in the NHL as of right now, but they have some issues, especially in the defensive part of the game, which we will talk about later. But right now, let's start with the last three years for the New York Rangers. Season 17-18, they finished with 77 points. Season 18-19, it was a little bit better, but only one point better, and that was not enough to go into the playoffs. 78 points, but the last season was actually a lot better. Of course, um, Artemi Panarin coming into the town that had a lot of effect and also Mika Zibanejad just absolutely great here for him and he's emerging as one of the best centers in the league as of right now, definitely after that last season and um, performances that he has put uh, definitely he is considered right now to be one of the brightest stars of the NHL. So 92 points for the Rangers were expected after the full 82 game schedule last season. The statistics, basic statistics, okay? So power play, uh, almost 23%, pretty good power play with, of course, uh, Artemi Panarin on the first line, Mika Zibanejad leading the way, a great power play for them. Uh, seven best in the league actually the penalty kill not that good as we'll see in just a second this team is not that good in the defensive part of the game and that's the problem here penalty kill only 77 percent just over 77 percent that was 23rd best in the league goal score pretty good 3.33 as i have said earlier this team definitely can score some really nice goals and goals in general fifth best goal scoring team in the whole of the nhl last season but goal against uh, again here the problem comes uh, 3.14 23rd in the league so as you can clearly see even from the statistics from the last season the defensive part of the game has been a problem for the New York Rangers and that's even why I put them only to finish fifth in the Eastern Division and not to make playoffs this year it's just because they're not that good the defensive part of the game that they definitely will want to improve cap it for the Rangers for this coming season, 76 million, just over 76 million, almost 77 million in fact. So that's pretty pretty good, you know, you still have some cap space there over just to 5 million probably. So you could still bring some, some really solid guy in. Uh, if you want, but also New York Rangers has to be, um, they have to be just really careful because of course Lafreniere and Kako on that entry level contract, they definitely will want a higher salary coming after the three years of the entry level contract and definitely also Hitiel who is RFA and Brett Howden, you're looking at definitely, especially Hitiel will want to earn more money than he has till now, so you have to be very careful when you are, uh, you know, the boss of the New York Rangers, not to spend too much, because you still have to have in mind that you will want, in like three years, you'll want to sign and to extend Lafreniere, who will definitely demand a pretty decent amount of money, and also Capo Caco is coming up, his contract expires in two years, so definitely also the Finnish guy will want a higher salary, a salary raise, so you have to always keep that in mind, mind when you are talking about cap hit and injured that's actually really nice really nice for new york rangers none nobody's injured in new york rangers and that's just a great uh great news for the general manager of the new york rangers great news for the coach of course that's just uh, that's just ideal right when you have nobody injured that's just uh, always very good very enjoyable and uh, i have checked it many times i have checked it on the uh, on the cap friendly and also on the in the daily faceoff.com where I got these informations about the lines and everybody says that nobody's injured for the Rangers so I believe these sites and that's very good very good news for New York Rangers indeed 
And the first line for the New York Rangers should be when we are looking at the roster probably. Kreider left, Zibanejad as a center, Buchnevich on the right. That's the third best first line in the NHL according to the daily face-off. So pretty good first line definitely and that second line I think is very good as well. Artemi Panarin, Ryan Strom and Kapo Kako. I think this is definitely uh, better than 12th in the league. I think this should be a better second line, but the daily face-off has uh, this line as 12th best in the NHL. Uh, definitely, it has something to do with the fact that Kapo Kako didn't have actually uh, that good of a year and he's expected definitely to score more points than he has last season. More will be expected from the Finnish youngster definitely and we will see what he's capable of during this coming season definitely. And I'm looking forward to see some of his tricks and I'm definitely a big fan of Capo Kako and I think he has a lot more um, that he's capable of a lot more and uh, I'm pretty sure that he will try to show what he's capable of in this coming season. The third line, Lafreniere, of course, the big guy coming in and the number one overall pick in the draft 2020, the big guy coming into the town, Alexis Lafreniere, a lot will be expected also from him. Uh, probably he will be in the third line with the central of Philip Hickiel and Frederick Gautier that is expected to be 22nd best third line in the NHL. Once again, I think they will be rated a little bit higher when Lafreniere will really show what he can do. Uh, he's definitely a great player, uh, great skills with uh, with hands, you know, just a great back, co back coordination. And uh, yeah, I think uh, definitely this line could be rated higher if Lafreniere will truly show what, uh, what he can do there. Uh, and the fourth line, Lemie, Rooney and Howden, 27 best in the league. Uh, just, I think it's a solid fourth line, definitely not the best. They say that it's 27 best in the NHL. So I think that's pretty right, you know, uh, like Lemie, Rooney, Howden, not that good fourth line, but I think it's pretty solid, to be honest with you. And uh, let's look at the defensive pairings right now. So the first defensive pair probably will be Tony D'Angelo, with a great season last season, of course, and alongside Jacob Truba, that is supposed to be 21st best first defensive pair in the league, according to dailyfaceoff.com. Uh, yeah, D'Angelo Truba, I actually kind of like the defensive pair, of course, Truba more defensive-minded, D'Angelo more offensive-minded guy, but I think they two can cope really well together and they could produce some great hockey, that's just my uh, initial reaction to the, this first defensive pair. The second defensive pair probably being Lindgren and Adam Fox, uh, that is supposed to be the third best, actually, second defensive pair in the whole of the NHL. Pretty good, pretty good, I think, uh, solid, I'm not sure about the third, but probably uh, somewhere up there, definitely, uh, pretty solid, also second defensive pair, and the third defensive pair, probably composed of Johnson and Smith, actually Daily Faceoff says that this is the worst third defensive pair in the whole of the NHL, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, definitely on that blue line, some problems could emerge for the New York Rangers and definitely D'Angelo, Truba and potentially Adam Fox will have to have a lot higher ice time, uh, a really high ice time and yeah, like then when you have uh, that big of a ice time also always, like almost always injuries are the case that you are prone to be more injured, you know, and so yeah, I'm looking at potential difficulties for New York Rangers in this defensive part of the game with two goalies Igor Shesterkin and Alexander Georgiev, New York Rangers, will be counting on the two Russians for the upcoming season. Shesterkin definitely showing last season what he's capable of, as well as Alexander Georgiev, basically these two guys from Russia, which one of them is 24 years old, the second one of them 25 years old. They basically kicked Henry Blomqvist, Henry the King, out of New York, out of New York Rangers. So that even shows you how good of these guys are, really. They are just uh, unbelievable, but definitely a lot of pressure will be on them. Uh, Lundqvist is no longer there, no longer to mentor them. Uh, of course, Lundqvist coming to Washington Capitals and right now he will not play. He just, for, you know, revealed that he's having some uh, issues with his heart, open heart surgery and stuff like that. So definitely crossing fingers that everything will go fine with Henry Lundqvist and that he will stay safe and stay healthy, definitely. That's the most important thing right now for the Swedish King. But the two Russians will try to continue his heritage in New York, and we will see how they will do. Uh, yeah, Shesterkin and Georgiou, I think a pretty solid defensive tandem. 
and uh, we'll see what they are capable of this coming season. There will be no more Henry Lundqvist, it will be just all, all the pressure on the Russians and we'll see how they can handle that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it and let's look at the UFAs and RFAs that are basically coming up after this season. UFA, so unrestricted free agent, after this season only two of the guys that I found, Johnson and Smith, so the whole of the third defensive pair, I think they are not uh, uh, irreplaceable, definitely they can be replaced, so I think no big concerns here, but RFAs, uh, I think the two biggest or three biggest concerns basically will be Pavel Buchnevich, definitely the first line uh, winger, definitely the Rangers will want to stick to him, he will be restricted free agent after this season, as well as Philip Hitil. I think Philip Hitil just, uh, you know, um, will have a pretty solid this coming season, I, I feel like, yeah, he's capable of it, to increase his, uh, his maximum of points. And uh, then, of course, Igor Shostorkin will also be restricted free agent, so they have to save some monies in order to extend contract of Pavel Buchnevich, of Filip Hitil and Igor Shostorkin. These three will be definitely the main concern for the New York Rangers general manager to keep those three guys into the town. You know, the two uh, to do, uh, defensemen for the third, from the third defensive pair, Johnson and Smith, they also will be important, you know, for the defensive depth to stay in New York, but really not as important as Hitiel, Buchnevich and Shostorkin. And then also restricted free agent after the season will be Frederick Gautier and Brett Howden, so also these two guys. So basically five restricted free agent for the New York Rangers, or actually six because also Lind Lindgren will be restricted free agent. So six restricted free agents coming up after the season for New York Rangers and two uh, unrestricted free agent. Uh, to, to be named Johnson and Smith from the third defensive pair. So that's just uh, it, that's just the season preview for the New York Rangers for the upcoming 2021 campaign. And uh, yeah, the, the main problem for Rangers is definitely the defense. Uh, these defensemen, I like pretty much the first defensive pair, but the second and third, maybe some, you know, problems there. And uh, it will all come down probably to goaltenders, really. If Shestorkin can maintain that high level that he was producing the last season, and if Georgiou can be able to support him when needed. It will be all down to these two Russians, of course, goaltending is probably always the most important part of every hockey team. And uh, definitely a lot of fans will be expecting a lot from these two Russians. And I think they're capable of showing some great show in the NHL this coming season. But we'll see. Uh, and I have them finishing fifth in the East after Boston, after Washington, after uh, after Philadelphia and after Pittsburgh. So I have them fifth in the East, above New York Islanders, above New Jersey Devils and above Buffalo Sabres. Uh, but, yeah, I have some concerns. I have some concerns definitely with the New York Rangers. Uh, I think that if their defensive core would be able to, you know, play good if they won't have any injured players if they, as they currently ha have not, I think they could be able to climb even to those playoff spots, but it will be kind of hard with them for them with this defensive core, but we'll see what will happen. Uh, this is your season preview for the season 2021 of the New York Rangers. Definitely a very, very interesting young team. Uh, one of the, if not the most interesting for me personally to watch with Kako, with uh, Lafreniere, with Hitiel, with Zibanejad, Panarin. Definitely that offensive talent is just absolutely supreme. But as I have said uh, many times in this video, the defensive part of the game is the one which just, uh, you know, which just makes me kind of uncertain how they will do actually. And if they eventually wouldn't even uh, finish below this fifth place. That's just the question here, guys. But yeah, thank you very much for, for watching. Definitely leave a comment down below. And tell me what do you think of this New York Rangers roster. If you are eager to see how they will do. And uh, also please subscribe. If you haven't already, of course. Uh, it would mean a lot to me, guys. And leave a like down below this video. Also, it, uh, it makes me feel good that you are enjoying my videos. And thank you very much, guys.